Hey folks, welcome back. It's the Exponential Files. I'm Larry Laufer, Jim Lowenstern, your host, and we've got Shawshank from India. Uh, Shawshank, where actually are you physically in India? Uh, I'm based out of Delhi, which is the capital city. Okay. Okay. Well, it's it's always great to have people, uh, international people, talking to us. I'm really curious about how um, the real estate industry ha is handled. Are you a listing agent and a buyer's agent? Tell me a little bit about your your real estate business. We are uh, a boutique real estate outfit, first of all, and we are powered by EXP. Uh, the team is Team Arbo, U W R B O. We call it. We only do luxury properties. Uh, we represent both the sides, buyer sides as well as seller side. So we are both side representatives and uh, we do exclusive mandates. So those, I can say that's the USP we have been working on and anything and everything above half a million dollars and above, we sell that. Is that so what a, would is, your, go ahead. What, what would your high price range be for luxury properties? What would the, most expensive property in Delhi. Maybe. Okay, so Delhi uh, on an average starts at around a million dollars and goes up to 20 million, 30 million dollars also. So that's the core of Delhi, which is South Delhi, we call it. The most posh area uh, spread over uh, hundreds of acres where the Parliament Street is, the Central Delhi, the South Delhi area. I think these are the post localities and very well connected with the airport, with the highways, amazing. So that side we do business. Apart from that, we also do a business in the nearby cities, which is Noida, which is just suburb of Delhi. And the other side, we get Gurgaon, which is a new town. Uh, we call it as a satellite township, uh, wherein all the MNCs, all the Fortune 500 companies have an office. So we also work in Gurgaon now. So, so you say- a so you say a new town. So there was a, I, I guess you, you'd call it urban plan development, like a whole city was literally built? Yes. So uh, Wow, very nice. This city was built, Gurgaon was built almost 20 years back. And uh, this was, the initial vision was of a developer, a private developer, which was DLF. They started the development in this city and now it is upmarket town, I say. It's like on the verge of, you can you can re, like easily compare it with something like a mini Dubai or something like a mini Singapore kind of thing. We get every corporate working out of that location. Sure. Hong Kong as well, wouldn't you say? Or Hong Kong is different? Hong Kong has no land at all. No, I'm, uh, but uh, all the corporations work out of there. Oh. That's that's yeah. what I was saying, um, and that's what you're. You are uh, you were the first icon agent in India, and that means yeah. you sold a lot of properties. Uh, was that last year or the year before? How long have you been with EXP? So uh, EXP came into India uh, around two years back. I've been associated from the very first day. Uh, I I somehow uh, very well connected with Michael because of my ex uh, company, which was Sathabee's International Reality. So uh, I'm into this field for almost 10 plus years now uh, in this market. Uh, I'm also a MBA from RICS, which is again a UK based organization. So after that, I was a part of Sathabee's, then I was working with a lot of developers. Sure. And for me, uh, last year was the year we completed as an icon status because we follow the calendar year in terms of uh, EXP. But in India, we uh, follow the uh, financial year, which is March to April. M March so one year very... to April the next, right? March one year yeah. to April the next. Okay. So that's, so our, that's, very that's our corporate year, by the way, here in the United States. That's our corporate year. Yes. So, uh, for, so you were at Sotheby's for, I guess, your whole career until EXP. As soon as EXP came to India, and and I believe you're speaking about Michael Val Valdez. Yeah. When you speak about Michael, so yeah. you knew Michael. Michael said, "Hey, 
Shawshank, uh, I've got something I, I need to tell you. I'm at EXP now. I guess he was with, it was Rilogy back then, which was Sotheby's. And just like that, you came over or what, what was the deciding factor? Obviously, Sotheby's is, you know, a, a good company also. Uh, but you were there day one with the XP. How did you make yeah. your decision? So, uh, after having a good stint of almost three years with Sotheby's International Reality between the year, uh, 2015 to 2017, I was there. Uh, between 17 to 2020, I was working uh, with Godrej Properties, which is a listed company, and uh, a small stint with VWork, which is a co-working player. So I was heading uh, Noida and Delhi markets for VWork. And after that, when we realized that we need to grow exponentially, I can say, <laughs> and this was the opportunity we had uh, through Michael and through Shashang Vashisht, who is also the managing broker and executive director here in India. So we somehow decided to start the brokerage business. Uh, prior to that, I was al always working with corporate. So we started the brokerage business, two of us, and somehow the things went pretty well. We started during COVID days. Uh, it was Initially, it was a tough time, but somehow we have managed to ride the wave, I say. And uh, here we are, <laughs> the icon status and also the top performing teams across the globe. We are also featured in the top 10 uh, uh, revenue generating teams in the recent newsletter by EXP. So That's very amazing. proud moment. Yeah, very proud moment. But somehow we think we are just starting. So we are just very few uh, in terms of the number, just 25 people. Uh, somehow we are targeting to build a larger team, uh, run multiple offices. Right now we are present in uh, Noida, Delhi, Gurgaon with a physical office also. And we recently... Uh, entered Dubai with some exclusive projects uh, with some builders and also we are targeting to enter Bombay and Goa which is a again a beach side you can say holiday home destination for all the Indians and also a lot of foreigners so we are we are somehow growing in a good a strategic manner we are targeting almost 100 plus team members in another two years time max that's amazing. Hey, talk for a minute. Uh, we have uh, issues right now here in the United States with interest rates. They were very, very, very low during the COVID time, and they have gone back up, which affected everything. Uh, what are the interest rates uh, for borrowers in, in India? Okay. So uh, interest rates for a home buyer right now has gone up again. It has, it has gone up globally, not just the US, I say. Uh, somehow we were uh, paying around 7% uh, around 8 months back and right now the it has touched almost 82 to 8.8%. .8%. It has gone up by like around 20-25% but uh, the demand for luxury homes and the demand for larger places after COVID has gone up significantly. We recently had a amazing amazing launch by again DLF in Gurgaon wherein the developer uh, sold all the units in three days. Those were 1100 units and a single unit was costing around a million dollars. Sold out project, 1100 units all sold out. So we, we are having a lot of uh, piled up demand due to COVID and a lot of, lot of people are upgrading now. So the paying capacity has increased, the lifestyle has increased, the, the earnings have increased. Uh, every household is ready to spend more. So that's, I think that's the real estate boom, which is taking place. Uh, this kind of boom we have never seen in the last eight years, what we have seen in the last one year happening. And we are looking forward for another two years, which will be very positive for the market. That'd be wonderful. So you, you said that was 1,100 units that were sold out in three days? I think he said yes. 11. 1,100? 1,100. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you the news article <laughs> just for... <laughs> your... a, uh, that is a lot of paperwork so yeah i was just gonna say so that was your team sold 1100 units no no this is a developer this okay. is a this developer of one of the largest developers of india dlf we only managed to sell a few units uh not specific number i can say right now because you are under booking under process but yeah. the developers so i'm just talking about the market sentiments here okay. which is very positive yeah. okay yeah. But you also mentioned uh, that you do business in Dubai. 
we recently started in the month of january uh, i was there in dubai for almost 5 uh, to 7 days we structured few uh, projects for exclusive rights for exp india exp us exp canada specific for exp so few developers like mag is there mag a uh, few more developers are on the pipeline wherein we are going to take exclusive inventory from them good for you good for you talk about um uh, uh people from india going outside of india to buy properties like you are just go a little bit further with that uh that is an actual designation in your country isn't it yeah so i think a lot of lot of uh, business owners want a second home and dubai being a very favorite destination we have always seen very good demand coming out of this uh dubai as a total if we talk about it's almost 30 35% buyers are from indian origin so it's a, it's a huge demand so we we try to uh, cater to this demand with the brand name obviously exp is a big name and we we recently got exp dubai also opened up in the month of january and it's doing amazing so we are, we are trying to structure things in and around uh, exp opening new countries because new blood is coming into the system i say <laughs> yeah yeah it's um and is that part of your future how do you market yourself do you use social media uh do you use video tiktok talk about your social media and how you market yeah so we have a in house uh, marketing team uh run by one of the marketing leaders uh, we, we have around eight people doing the background of all the marketing stuff we are present on linkedin marketing we do youtube marketing instagram facebook we do uh, then we do we have our own listing uh, page which is arbo.com and we are also using exp global india listing page uh, in continuation with we have tie up with all the leading platforms of india like 99 acres magic bricks like mls you have uh, in your space so sure. we don't have a mls but we have a, like listing portals which are huge right so we have tie up so that is the uh, that's the digital side to do it more uh, professionally we get a professional photographer to do the uh, photo shoot and we also take up few marketing budgets upfront from the seller plus we do a lot of uh, holdings a uh, lot of uh, uh, sign boards which help us uh, on the sale side so also the seller is happy because he is getting one single person representing the whole transaction Well, that's sure. that's actually my next question. So, how is a a typical transaction uh, broken down? So, you're doing both sides. You're representing buyer and seller. And in our area, we have buyers, brokers. Someone represents the buyer. The seller actually pays the buyer broker fee, but they're representing the buyer. And then there's a listing agent. that represents the seller. So how is it with you? It's just you 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 do everything, right? And and what's the commission? How's that how's that split? Yeah. So uh, normally in a exclusive mandate transaction wherein we are having an exclusive mandate for the property from the seller side, we charge uh, 2% uh, plus uh, government taxes which is 18% on the as a service fee tax. So that's a total from the seller side on the buyer side we charge 1% plus taxes which is again 18% of 1% as a government tax so we do all the invoicing which goes from the exp billing system uh this is for the exclusive properties uh, also in terms of the new developments we uh, are not authorized obviously we cannot ask from the builders to give us a certain fee but they provide on an average of 2.5% to 3% 4% depending on the number of sales we do so that's the number uh, basically slabs they have created where if we sell 5 units they give 2 and 1/2% to start with if we are selling 10 they might increase it to 3% or so so that's the core of brokerage i say and we are also tied up with a lot of uh, bank institutions to provide finance for all the customers so that's again a revenue generation for us and we also get hold of the finance side so we can help the customer do it quickly and the services are up to the mark and that tax you're talking about that 18% that's on the sale price so no, a million it's on, dollars it's on the commission it's on the commission on the commission on the commission, on the commission. Yeah. yeah because we so, have, we are so a, the 18% on the sale side that'd be awesome 
but it's 80% on the 1% or the 2%. Yeah, no, no. So that's that's the uh, service tax you can say on the commission we make, right? So, so yeah, yeah. yeah the so, government so, so we we have definitely people coming back and forth between India and the U.S. Uh, I've got clients uh, that I work with that uh, came from India. Do you see a number of your clients buying in the U.S.? Is there an opportunity for you to send a, a Larry? Yeah, and they, so uh, in business. Probably. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, we have always referred clients to the U.S. and somehow we got very good referrals, uh, vice versa as well. Uh, we recently closed a transaction in uh, North Hollywood area. One of my team members did that around uh, that was around 1.4 million dollars uh, somebody from delhi only bought the property and uh, the selling agent was from exp so very very smoothly we did the transaction and recently also we are uh, working on i think five or uh, five plus uh, referrals for the us and and these people from india coming to the us permanently or retiring or what what's What's so, their reason? Yeah, so basically there are there are uh, different structures. I say so. Somebody is using uh, the money just to invest in US and keep it as a second home. Some people are using it for their children because their children are studying somewhere near to the university area. So they instead of renting uh, the studio apartments, they purchase they property. Them. Yeah, that becomes I've, more easy. I've had that. So, I've had those yeah. kind of sales. Where they come yeah. and they buy it, it, may, it makes sense because uh, dorm rooms in colleges and universities are expensive. It's it's cheaper to buy something, even if you only keep it for the four years and then yeah. sell it at the end. That's exactly. A, that's so, what about point. people from the U.S. moving to your area for the same reason, for investment or retirement, for example? You see, you see any. Migration in that direction. Yeah. So, uh, uh, see, foreigners are not allowed to buy property in India. Uh, so only NRIs are allowed. So the people who are uh, the non-resident Indians are allowed to buy properties. So we do help uh, NRIs purchase property in India. So we have seen a lot of people who are uh, staying in the US for uh, eighteen years, twenty years plus, uh, coming back to enjoy their retirement with their family, uh, investing back into the country. But that's again, I say uh, the people moving out and people coming in is a good a good differentiation is there. Good good gap is there. We, we see more people investing in the US than coming back to India. So that's the mindset. Because uh, again, I think it's more of a global scenario. Uh, people want to make more money also. They get around 4% plus kind of return by investing in the US. Wherein uh, in India, the rental yields are 1% to 2%. And also the financing in the U.S. is cheap and financing in India is slightly costly. So that's the gap, I say. So all but, the your business... economy, but your economy this year is predicted to be the strongest economy, I believe, worldwide. Am I, am I correct? Have you heard something to that effect? Uh, sorry, you're talking about the economy uh, with the COVID? Yeah, Indian economy in general. It's very strong. Yeah, so yes, I think we are all there in the news because of our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi. So the Indian economy is doing fairly good. We are uh, on a yearly basis, our GDP is uh, growing almost 6% plus. Uh, obviously, looking at the current inflation, which is going on, and also the recession side, which is going around the globe, uh, it, it has impacted the growth by almost 2% on the uh, GDP side. But if I talk about as a whole scenario, we are positive. So growing the economy at a 6%, 7% plus, it's a very good number. And that's the reason the trade, the export, import business, the, the uh, manufacturing businesses, the uh, IT business are all setting up their base in India. I think we are trying to uh, create an environment for all the business owners, wherein single window clearances, single window taxation is there. So a lot of companies are also coming back to set up their large, large factories 
recently we were also hearing that tesla is trying to enter india but somehow due to some uh, import duties and all uh, they were not uh, uh, comfortable and somehow they are still in the talks but if we talk about microsoft like uh, we recently like i closed my microsoft transaction uh, around 2 years back when i was working with vwork so uh, that they took up a very large space in noida which is again up market and these these uh, companies are buying lands which is very unique uh, in nature uh, they are buying land so that they can uh, consolidate their multiple offices into one single building or one single corporate park so a lot of corporate side movement i can say is uh, on the positive side because of the uh, all the news all the all the structures the uh, your modi government has done and i think it's a, it's a good thing on the global front also we are very strong that's really interesting um uh and how do you predict or or what are you saying uh your team you did say you wanted to build to 100 agents that's an awful lot of agents do you have a support service for that i know that exp provides you a lot of support but um are you coaching people are people getting do you, uh, let me ask the first question do you need an actual license or can you just anybody uh so yeah so uh, i think very very amazing question because licensing is required nowadays everywhere in the us like we have individual licenses uh, here in india we are yet to get this individual licenses and somehow we have uh, got as a uh, uh, rare license which is real estate regulatory authority uh, which has come up into play in the last 4 years i say and mm -hmm. exp is providing that support exp has got all the uh, states uh, all the all the uh, pan india licenses from the government and uh, the agent can use the exp number as a rare number for the billing purpose so that side is clear but in in the next 6 months or so we are getting we are going to get more and more agent specific licenses we are every agent will be required to pass an exam something sure. like the us has so that that's on the cards and already one of the state like maharashtra has started it which is bombay uh, specific so they have already started uh, uh, this process i think it's going to be more structured in 2 years from now sure so i'm very interested in um growing my team growing my downline um how many agents are there in india now and i i actually have someone in india recruiting for me but not calling people in india if they were to recruit for me in india do they call real estate brokers real estate offices or how, how who, who would they speak to and 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 how many exp agents are there in the total country right now you've muted yourself yeah no. so uh, yeah so uh, i think it's uh, fairly simple uh, the onboarding team is there so somya is there from the exp global uh, india team as a onboarding specialist so anybody any agent wants to join exp can directly get in touch with somya and uh, she can get the uh, agent help uh, support uh, and get her uh, or him onboarded easily into the exp system just a second my i think my baby is just doing it nay just a second i think it's a little... well uh it's it's so great having you here if people well where did you go <laughs> if people want to be in touch with you shoshank how did you didn't answer my question yet don't 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 play them off just we'll we'll we'll, well we, we've now. lost them here anyway yeah he'll, he'll be back he's getting the baby <laughs> I did. yeah there is i knew he was coming back yeah just, sorry <laughs> yeah actually he was just That's fine. a little That's cranky fine. yeah so uh, yeah so i think the system is pretty clear uh, so any agent can come and join exp uh, india portal and all the systems he can use uh, they just need to follow a certain training which uh, uh, the exp onboarding team and the uh, uh, operations team support in apart from this the uh, the the process of getting like we don't market uh, here in india that come and join exp so it's not allowed officially also but somehow word of mouth plays a big role uh, like i am i'm in this industry for last 10 plus years now so i personally know around uh, 2500 plus agents in the industry uh, but somehow 
uh, it has started because they see that exp is growing it's a new fairly new company in india it's across its uh, like exp is getting awards uh, at the builders event uh, top selling company and uh, doing doing sales good numbers so india is huge so if we are if we are doing good business in one city uh, i think the builders who are working pan india want exp to work on their pan india level so they they give different support different sops are there and they also help us in signing aops which is annual targets so uh, i think uh, we are fairly growing and somehow we attract agents instead of marketing uh, to join us you satisfied my, you? my con- <laughs> no my connection was a little unstable so you you're not you're not allowed to i i heard something you're not allowed to recruit in india no we we don't market actually we are allowed to recruit but we don't okay. market yeah we don't market that come and join us it's it's fairly very word of mouth and more more and more performing agents uh, attract more agents to join exp that's easy okay so now you have a place where you recruit people and they could work for shawshank with shawshank <laughs> how how would people get in touch with you shawshank if they wanted to after watching the show uh yeah so i'm i'm uh, easily reachable i'm on the exp uh, platform also and people who are not on the exp uh, i'm easily contactable i can share my number that's uh, if, if you want i can Please. just pick it out that's uh, uh, plus 91 uh, that's a country code it's plus 91 9711006797 i can repeat it again it's plus 91 9711006797 that's my personal number and also uh, my email id is shashank it's s h a s h a n k at the rate arbo.com which is u w r b o.com so uh, anything let me just ping me uh, i'll be happy to support i'll be happy to help i think uh, that's the that's the model of exp i say it's it's built for humanity i just love this word uh, because this this is for everybody this is not specific to me not specific to uh, only the performing agents it is for everybody anybody and uh, everybody can join even the uh, housewives uh, i i see even the bankers i see even even the lawyers cas can join us who just want to refer clients who, who are not even a part of real estate they want to do real estate or they have clients we are there to support them on the ground level and they can just refer and earn money it's so simple so th- so that's an important distinction so the broker which is exp has the license and anybody can then work for exp and sell real estate in india yes. correct yes at this point but soon you'll ha- they'll need at, a license yes. yeah at this point, at this point and also if they need a ground level support we are there my team is there to support on the uh, ground level apart from obviously we are we are powered by exp so physically we will be there to close the transaction okay. well shashank thank, thank you, you so much for joining us this week uh it's been another uh fantastic episode of the exponential files join us uh for people you wish you were people you need to meet uh it's here Friday. at the exponential files thank you shashank thank, thank you for this opportunity see you see you soon